John King USA, CNN, weeknights 7 Eastern. Starting next week, legislatures across the country will be returning to work in crisis mode. Arizona is just one of the states facing a budget shortfall, but lawmakers there also intend to tackle illegal immigration again. Joining me from Phoenix is Arizona State Senate President-elect Russell Pierce, who sponsored the immigration bill that created a national controversy earlier this year. Senator, thanks for being with us. I want to ask you straight, straight away, you want to prevent the children of illegal immigrants from becoming U.S. citizens. But the question I have is, does that undermine the promise of America, where what no. unites us is not our race, our ethnicity, our religion, but that we were born here or we become citizens? You know, you know, it's nice people get the, the good information. Uh, when the 14th Amendment was written, it was written to, to give credit uh, to the African Americans, recognize uh, them uh, the way it should be. And it was after a terrible Supreme Court decision called the Dred Scott decision that did not recognize them as humans virtually. It was outrageous. While well, a Republican Congress said, we're not putting up with that, and it was written, born, nationalized, and for whom, we, for whom we have jurisdiction. It's been hijacked. You know, we have a path to citizenship, and it's not breaking into the country. The 14th Amendment was never intended to be used the way it's used. It was intended for those who may have jurisdiction. Do you know that when the 14th Amendment was passed, and re in, or actually written in four, 1866, but ratified in 1868, it did not recognize the American Indian as, as citizens. And the reason was because they were on, born on a reservation and members of a tribe. And they were concerned about that jurisdiction language that's in the 14th Amendment. Let's look at the language in the 14th Amendment. Just if I can interrupt you for a moment. Here's what it says. Yeah. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof uh -huh. are citizens of the United States and that's of right. the state wherein they preside. Pretty clear. Okay, now now let's go back. Let's go back to, to to that was written by the same Congress who wrote the Civil Rights Amendment in 1866. That was the response to the to the Dred Scott decision. And then that same Congress that wrote the Civil Rights Amendment in 1866, which has similar language but a little different, that makes it very clear. And they should have used that same language. That same Congress is who wrote the the 14th Amendment because they wanted to give the Civil Rights Amendment constitutional protection, which I think was the right thing to do. They made it very clear on the debate of the floor. Senator Howard, who wrote the 14th Amendment, said this amendment does not apply to aliens or foreigners. There were no illegal aliens at that time. They intended it to right the wrong of the African Americans for whom we had jurisdiction. But this Again, is now gone the through American the American Indian courts. was born here in America. There was no doubt about where they were born. It has nothing to do with your GPS location. Well, our senior legal analyst, Jeffrey Tubin has looked at this issue and says there is absolutely no way that this bill, if it were to pass, could make it through the courts. The constitutional amendment well, is pretty clear. Well, that's, that's not true. I mean, I, I'm amazed at these folks who think they've read the Constitution. Apparently, they've not read the debate or read the, or read the Constitution properly. It, it was honored that way for the first 30 years. And there were two Supreme Court decisions, you know, Elk Wilkes decision and the Slaughterhouse decision that made it clear Will you that it had to do with two major issues. This? It wasn't changed. Hang on. It wasn't changed until the... the the Kim Wong decision of 1898, over 30 years after that was passed, that they changed the application of the 14th Amendment with the court that said, ah, we don't think it matters, uh, you know, as long as you're born here. That was never the intent. Senator, the on, debate on around it made it clear was not the why intent. Why is it important to you to change this on principle? The larger it's against the law. Well, yeah, and, and that's a good point. We have a path to citizenship, a legal path. But you can't, it's against the law to enter the United States illegally. It's against the law to remain in the United States in violation of federal law. But yet we induce you, we provide an incentive, we reward you for breaking the laws. It was never intended to be used that way. It's a matter of moral law. We have people who come here the right way. They wait in line. You can't break into the country and then expect to be rewarded. It's immoral. It's illegal. It was never the intent. Okay, All now I'm you're... trying to do is return the intent, the original intent of the 14th Amendment. That's what our found. That's what they decided. That was what the debate made clear, and that's the appropriate thing to do. It's well, an course, unconstitutional about, declaration of citizenship. We're talking about children who are born here and didn't themselves break the law. They came here through no well, fault wait, of their wait. own. But that doesn't matter. Well, blame mom and dad, whoever put you in that position, though. You still broke the law. It was never intended to be used that way. All right. So, your again, state, let's sir, go back to the original intent. It's a violation of the Constitution. Your state faces a $2.25 billion state budget shortfall. 
You have a 9.4% unemployment rate in Arizona. The Arizona Republic's own editorial page put it like this. They said, quote, with Arizona facing huge shortfalls, this is no time for distractions. It's hard to imagine a <laughs> worse know, distraction than trying to write our own citizenship rules. Are there no, more pressing it, issues in well, this? Well, again, that's the misinformation. That's the myth that keeps being purported by the open border Arizona Republic who has never seen an illegal alien they didn't like. Enough is enough. You know, that, that debate is very clear when they wrote the 14th Amendment. We're not changing the 14th Amendment. We're going to go back to its original intent. It was never intended. It doesn't take a constitutional amendment. It says right at the end of the 14th Amendment, Congress will regulate this amendment through legislation. Can you clear All up it takes some, is clarification. Can you clear up some questions? Would this legislation sure. apply to a baby born to a couple that included one legal resident and one illegal immigrant? Would that well, th child be legal it, or illegal? Again, if you're born to a legal resident, a legal citizen, then you're, you're then you have the right to that citizenship status that they have. It's just like if you're in the military and you're born overseas, you're still an American citizen. But they're the citizen of the country where they came if they come from, and what from would you know, if they come the here illegally. If you're a citizen of another country, your parents are, that's where you're a citizen of. What it's just like your if you're visiting in the United States, you're from France, and you're visiting the United States and you're pregnant, and all of a sudden you have an early birth. Now all of a sudden you're a citizen of the United States. You're from France. You're on a visa. You're just visiting. Okay, so Never there's one intended. legal Never parent. Was intended. The child's legal in your view. Then what happens to the eight percent of babies that are born in the U.S. to illegal immigrants? What would you do with them if no country claims them? Well, the country does claim them. They're a citizenship of the country of the of the legal residency and the citizenship of their parents. Again, you know, I'm driven by a respect for the Constitution and the rule of law. I know right and wrong. You know, you can't continue to bribe, induce people to break our laws and have laws against coming here or remaining here in violation of federal law, but then reward them for it. It's inappropriate. You've got to stop it. And again, not retroactively. The harm that's been done has been done. But you can't continue to induce people to break our laws by rewarding them with unconstitutional applications of our Constitution. It is an unconstitutional declaration of citizenship to those born here, to, to, to those that are here in illegally. In your view, in that your estimation, what's the that likelihood this measure will pass your legislature? Well, again, let's uh, a little history. First of all, I think it will. But secondly, two Supreme Court decisions upheld what I'm telling you. It wasn't until 30 years later, the Kim Wong decision, the courts decided it doesn't matter. And they ignored that application. But do you have the governor's support on they, this? Well, she's been very supportive in the past of, of this stuff. I would hope she's supportive of this. But she hasn't uh, come she's down been one way or another. Has she? of, she's been very vigilant. In the, no, she hasn't. But she also didn't uh, come out publicly on SB 1070 until she signed it. Uh, you know, so she's been very cautious with coming out publicly, and I appreciate that. I'm okay with that. I think I know where she's at. She's been good with, in supporting me in the rule of law. She signed 1070. She's been with me in, its, in, in, in the vigilance the defense of this. 25 states and are writing legislation modeled after. After 1070, it, it's it's again no different than the 14th Amendment. The polls have been done. The majority of Americans support it, correcting the misapplication of birthright citizenship. Was never intended. It's a misapplication. It's unconstitutional. Go back to the original 10th gets, and 14th Amendment. You know we have this will be fought out ultimately in the nation. courts, no doubt. You, you do you sure. see this winning in the end? Do you see your side prevailing? Sure. I wrote Proposition 204, been to court seven times, won seven times. I wrote employer sanctions, been to court five times, won five times. And now waiting for a Supreme Court decision on a sixth trial in the court. I, you know, 1070, 80% of it's in effect. We'll go to court to get the other 20% in full effect. I know the left is going to sue us. I know we're going to be sued. I, I write them very carefully constitutionally to make sure they withstand the court challenges that I know are going to come from the left. They've sued us for everything we've tried to do, no matter how simple. Simple Prop 200. And why not sue just back fraud a constitutional fraud, they sued amendment? Me. I mean, you tells you how radical they are. As you know, they Senator pardon? Lindsey Graham has floated the idea of a possible constitutional amendment to change the Constitution rather than do this at the state level. Why don't you back that? Well, I do back that. I do back that. But, you know, here's the problem. We've waited at the federal government to do something for years and years and years. How long are you going to wait on the federal government? This has only been this has only been going on for a hundred years on the misapplication of the Fourteenth Amendment. You can't afford to wait on the federal government. I've never seen such cheap drive-by political statements than I have from Washington to D.C. 
You know, they could have secured the border years ago, but yet we just lost, killed, and murdered another Border Patrol agent because of their failure to, failure to enforce our laws, secure our borders. How long are you going to wait for the federal government to do its job? All right, state Senator. of Arizona is a sovereign state. We're obligated to protect our citizens and enforce our laws, and Arizona will do it if the federal government won't. Thank you, sir. I know all Thank eyes will you. be on Arizona when you take Thank this you, issue up.